All right, here we go. Happy Thanksgiving or Black Friday or uh, whatever we're at today. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are not still in a food coma. Got some really cool stuff to share with you. And uh, I want to thank you guys for all just for being here on a Friday morning when you could be out shopping. <laughs> so <clears throat> one of the things I wanted to share is uh, the, the big announcement of after 25 years, I'm actually stepping down from SEO. Some of you guys have probably heard that. Some of you have not yet. But uh, there is a reason why I never leave anything good unless I find something better. Well, I've found something better, and that's why. So the first thing, the first thing I want to like talk a little bit about SEO, because most of you have been following me for that for the last... 20 years, 25 years, something like that. Um, I want to, I want to make sure you guys understand I'm not getting out of it because it doesn't work. I'm not getting out of it because it's hard or it changed or I can't do it anymore. I've just simply found something better. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. As you know, um, SEO is not something really anybody wants what they want is they want the conversion. They want the customers. And SEO is just a bridge to get them that. But the problem with it, their problems are many. As any of you know that have worked with SEO for any time, there's it's riddled with problems. First off, it changes all the time. You got to stay on top of it. It's expensive and it takes a long time to get there. And even if you do get there, you're there with 10 other people or nine other people. You are one of 10. So it's like, you've got a lot of odds against you. But even with all that said, SEO, the reason SEO is so good and the reason that people would fight for it so hard for so long is it is, I still truly believe it is the best traffic on the planet. <clears throat> Because it reaches people at the right place at the right time. It's putting you in front of them in their buyer journey. This is your customer's buyer journey. And it literally plunks you right in the middle of it. That's why it's so good. The other thing that I've said for many, many years is it's a different form of advertising. It's not disruptive. It's in flow. It's when they're actually looking for you and you show up at the right place at the right time. All other forms of advertising are disruptive. If you're advertising in Facebook or or any other any other form, people are not there looking for you. They're there doing other things. And in Europe, you're just a pain in their ass. You're just a problem. You, you're standing there with your flag waving it, saying, look at me. Most people don't like that. And if you're going to do that kind of advertising, you have to be really good. You have to be 10 times better than if they're just looking for you and you show up. So that's kind of like the pros and cons of SEO. But what it comes down to is all the people that want SEO and all the people that are willing to pay for SEO, it's not the SEO that they want. It's the customers that it will get them. It's the conversion. And uh, what I have discovered here is there's a new way to sidestep that. It's called AI, artificial intelligence. Now, you've probably seen a lot of products hit the market lately that claim to be lead generation using AI. And the truth is they're nothing more than scrapers. They're just scraping old crap data, giving you a pile of garbage to sift and sort through. And it's a mess. You know, they're, they're, they're just scraping LinkedIn. Those are not real leads. There might be a lead in the middle of that pile, but it's like a needle in a haystack. What we've figured out how to do, in, and it's not me, I'm not a programmer. Uh, we've got some very brilliant people behind the scenes that have actually figured out how to do this. But what it is, it's taking search in, in general. And here's something else. When, when you guys think search, you're all thinking SEO and you're thinking Google. Google is like top of mind. 
And if you are hyper-focused on Google, like most people in the SEO industry, you're focused on a sliver of search traffic. What you guys are not paying attention to is there's hundreds of millions of websites on the internet that have search boxes. There's search going on outside of Google to an extent that you have no idea. Search is massive across the internet. And all you're focused on is Google. All you care about is Google. Google is like generic search. That's where people go and they just don't know what to do. But when you talk about a buyer, a lot of times your buyers will be on a specific site searching for a specific thing. Those are actual real buyers. And that's what we figured out how to do is not just focus on Google search, but search across the entire internet. It's like these these people, these customers, these buyers, they're all over out there and they're searching and it's not just Google. So we've figured out how to take that and identify the buyer intent by how they're searching, how, the, how they're behaving on the internet. So we look at their search behaviors. We're using a proprietary blend of AI to do that. <clears throat> so imagine your ideal customer out there and you know, maybe they're on Google, maybe they're not, but they run a search. They're looking for you. And we flag them as a potential lead. And then we start following them, or rather the AI starts following them. And it's looking to see if they're an actual lead or not, because we don't want to just get a pile of garbage like those scrapers. We want a real true intent lead. So we follow them. And once they consume the second piece of relevant content, we pretty much know this is somebody that actually wants whatever the search was. So that we classify as a lead. When we identify that lead, the next thing that the AI does is it matches that lead, the marketing ID of that lead up to a consumer database. Now, this is a consumer database where people have been on the internet before they have opted in to someone's marketing campaign and they've agreed to receive marketing materials from the internet. So these people have literally opted in to receive your information. Maybe not on your site, but on somebody's site, they've opted in and they're in this database because of that. So we're able to grab their information. We can do this in real time where, while they're actually searching and consuming this content. And we can give you their contact information right then, right there. So it's not like they're going to Google and they're looking at nine other people and deciding which of the 10 they want. We're just telling you exactly who is looking and when they're looking for it. That, if you haven't figured out, that's a game changer. That, to me, doesn't make SEO relevant, but it puts it right on the edge. And for me... I'm not going to fight and spend all that time and resource and money to play the SEO game when I can just identify who's searching and just reach out and contact them. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to kind of walk you through the process, how we're doing it. Well, I just told you how we're doing it, but I'm going to show you the, the mechanism which we've created to allow you to be able to do it. So as I first did this, I actually went to Perry Belcher's AI conference and started talking about it from his stage. And he asked me, he says, so what are you going to call this thing? And at the time I didn't, I hadn't put a lot of, I hadn't put a lot of time or thought into that. I was just so excited about the, the general idea of what this thing does. And he put me on the spot and he said, what are you going to call it? And I said, we call it unlimited AI leads. And he looked at me with a disgusting look and he said, really, you of all people are going to just throw some generic term out to brand your product. And I felt about that big and I'm like, okay, that, that can't be the name of this thing. So on the plane ride home, I was thinking about it. I'm like, what am I going to call this thing? And I started thinking about like, what does it do? Let's call it like what it does. And I'm thinking, you know, it's taking a, a 
monster load of people and delivering them right to your front door. And, and the first thing that came to mind was like, I'm sitting here on an airliner that's doing exactly that. It's taking people that want a desired outcome. They all want to go to the same place. And this, this jet that we're on is delivering that. It's delivering them right to the front door of the place they want to go. So I thought, why not use the airline model? So I called it acquisition air. Because we're acquiring customers. So this is the mechanism to acquire customers through acquisition. And I just packaged it up and like it's an airliner bringing them right to your luxury destination business. So that's how it came to be called Acquisition Air. Kind of kind of corny, but I had a, a lengthy discussion with AI itself about this and it convinced me it was the right thing to do. So it's called Acquisition Air. We have a, a website up. I'm going to go through the site uh, called acquisitionair.com. And if you go there, you can you can read about it. You can see all, the, all what we're doing. I'm going to go through that with you today. So you don't have to go there right now. But if you do go there, you will notice the pricing is considerably higher than what you guys are going to get. You guys are on my list. This is our soft beta launch that you guys are getting to participate in right now. So the pricing that I'm going to reveal to you guys today, you will be able to lock that in for life. And no one else is going to be able to get that after this. This is for you guys. I know a lot of you on here were part of our beta test program. This is an extension of that. We're still technically in beta. But as we roll out, the what you're going to get to do is help us build this. You're going to help with testimonials and just scripts and all of that stuff. Because there, there is scripts to this. There is follow-up. Because as you know, it's not just about acquiring a lead. It's about taking that lead and nurturing them and turning them in to a customer. There's a process going on there. So that's part of the puzzle. So anyway, let me, uh, let me get this up. I'm going to share my screen with you guys and show you what we have created. And I've got Brady on here and also Bree. That's part of our support team. Brady has been helping people get their accounts set up and all that. Bree is in training on that. She's going to be doing that and taking over. She's uh, following following in, in Brady's shadow at this point, and she will emerge to the top and be the main support. So they're both on here for you. I'm going to share screen. And here we go. So this is the website, acquisitionair.com. We call this the future of lead generation. And I've kind of told you guys a little bit how, about how it works. But this is a new AI lead gen system where you control the internet air traffic of ready-to-buy customers. This is really cool copy that actually AI helped me generate. I wrote down a bunch of notes as I was coming on that plane, coming home fed it into AI, and it wrote some brilliant copy for me here. So it's imagine directing all these buyers to your business destination. There are millions of ready-to-buy customers flying around the internet 24 hours a day. How would you like to control the tower and redirect their flights directly to your business? Bring all of those customers right to your doorstep, become the leading destination for their purchases, Leave your competitors gasping for air. Thank you for choosing us. Your success truly has no limits. So it's kind of mimicking here like what you would hear from the, the pilot as you're getting onto an airline. Now, here's how it works. I just covered this. Um, if you guys want to read about this a little bit more, you can do that. But it's just tell, talking about how it follows them around. Now, here is a, here's a really key point. After, after we get to, you'll know exactly what they want and when they want it. I, I talk a little bit here about this is only half the battle. When you're trying to get customers, generating the lead is literally only half the battle. It's a battle most of you struggle with. We're going to remove that struggle. But once you've got the lead, 
now it's time to follow up and time is of the essence. When you have somebody that is in search and they're looking for something, they're interested right now. They're not interested three hours from now. They're not interested tomorrow. They're not interested next week. They're interested right now. If you contact them tomorrow or later today even, they may have shifted their thoughts to something else or even worse, they've already bought from your competitor. So you really need to instantly communicate with them. Now that makes it a very difficult proposition until what we've done here, we've integrated SendGrid. SendGrid is an auto response software that can instantly email them the second the lead is generated. We've got that built right in. So you can create an autoresponder. So when you get a lead, you don't even have to think about it. It could be in the middle of the night. You're sending an email to that lead in real time. So this literally puts you at the right place at the right time. It gives you the best chance at capturing their attention and being able to convert them into a paying customer. So I really hope you guys can truly see the game changer that this is. If you don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, yeah, we got more sales copy here. Are you ready to dominate your market, leaving your competitors gasping for air? Your ticket to success awaits you. Say goodbye to slow, uncertain world of SEO and expensive advertising. We are here to revolutionize the way you acquire clients. Acquisition Air is the flight control tower for your business. We monitor search activity across the internet skies. When someone starts searching for exactly what you offer, the process starts. Once we've identified buyer intent, we send their contact info directly to you in real time. This is where SendGrid can kick in and send your marketing materials right to them, right then. These are not just any prospects. They're perfect leads at the peak of their purchase journey. This is not scraping people out of some database somewhere. This is real people looking for what you have right now in real time. It does not get any better than this. It's like having a crystal ball predicting your next customers. Your competitors will not stand a chance once you're on board. You decide how much of the market you want to control. The only question is, how many clients do you want today? You have complete control. You can turn the flow on and off like a faucet. Welcome to the future of lead generation. And when I say you can turn it on and off like a faucet, we have a control panel built into the back that's similar to ad control panels, like if you're doing pay-per-click advertising, where you can say how many leads you want today. You can pause the campaign at any time. You can restart it. You can literally turn it on and off. These leads come through almost instantly. Like I'll give you an example. When I first tested the system, um, Brady was working with the developers and uh, they all contacted me and they were very excited. They say, well, okay, we got something for you to test here. And I set it up. It was very simple to set up. I turned, I used the campaign basically for SEO software. And I wanted leads for SEO software for our site pop program. And I knew I had run paid ad campaigns for that before. And I was paying about $18 per click, not per lead, per click, $18. It would take me anywhere from 50 to 100 clicks before I would actually generate a lead. So that's crazy. It, you know, you're talking about hundreds and thousands of dollars per lead. And I couldn't get very many of them because I wasn't willing to pay more than $18 a click. That was the max I would allow the program to do. So <clears throat> that was my experience with pay-per-click. Now, because I had to get 50 to 100 to actually get a conversion, that tells me, those were absolute garbage. That wasn't real leads. That was clickers. That was just people clicking around and I'm paying $18 a click for it. it. That was crazy. So I stopped doing it because it was not sustainable. It was not acceptable. 
So when I turn this on using the same keywords going across the entire internet, I turned it on about midnight and I went to bed. <laughs> and when I woke up, I came and I checked the control panel and I just about shat myself because I had almost 700 leads. I was like, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> it was like, that was the day that I woke up and realized, okay, I'm done with SEO. This is way too easy. Now, again, these are not customers. These are leads. But when I go from $18 a click for clicks, not customers, and here I can generate these almost instantly as many as I want, why would I do SEO? Why would I have a customer pay me for SEO when I can just hand them these leads? It's, it's crazy. Now, let's talk a little bit about cost. I talked about the cost of the clicks. We have costs here to generate these leads. We've got data feeds. We've got, we've got all kinds of costs to those. Our wholesale cost to you for generating leads is $1.99. So $1.99 for an actual lead in any niche, in any market, the cost to us is the same. So we're passing on that savings to you. Some people are generating leads in, in high dollar things like solar and mortgages and real estate. <clears throat> Those leads are worth hundreds of dollars in some cases. You can buy them for $1.99. You can use them for yourself. You can resell them. You could create an entire lead generation agency using this technology. So this is really, really cool stuff, guys. We have, I'm going to address all of your questions at the end. If you guys have questions, you can put them in the Q&A or, or you can use the chat. I prefer you use the Q&A though. The chat gets kind of, kind of crazy. So if you actually have questions, Click the Q&A button and just put your questions in the Q&A. And I promise I'll stay on here and I'll answer all of your questions. We'll also, uh, when, you, when you get into this, if you get on board with us with this, we actually have two different portals. We have one portal that manages your campaigns and we have another portal for training and getting up to speed and all the webinars that I'll be doing on this and best practices and all that. So there'll be a support portal and an actual portal for the, the software itself. So here's what you get with acquisition air. There's actually two types of leads that it will generate. The one that I am most excited about is the search leads. We also have site leads. This will do the same thing. If you put like a, a little retargeting pixel code, which will generate for you. If you want to put that on your website, we can tell you who's going to your website. So instead of sending people and hoping they opt in for you to be able to follow up, we can tell you who hits your website and give you their contact information so you can follow up with them. Those leads we can do for 25 cents. That's the wholesale cost on those. There's some other companies that are doing similar to this. So we've got some competition there. I'm not as excited about that, but as long as you've got it under one control panel, if you want to do that, it's a perfect solution for you. But this is the one I'm really excited about. It's the, the AI search leads. So, and you know, this is the one where we monitor the traffic across the internet and bring the people that are interested right to your front door for $1.99 per lead. This is not for clicks. This is their actual contact information. So you can reach out to them. So like I say, AI search, that is our flagship. And it comes in three levels. So we have broken it down to what we call the private plane, the corporate jet, and the full airliner. Now the private plane, this is for a business owner. This is for somebody that wants to generate leads for their own website, for their own purposes. They can create unlimited campaigns for their, for their business. They can buy unlimited leads at the wholesale price, the $1.99. 
and they can use it for all their businesses. They might have two, three, 10 businesses. It doesn't matter. They can generate all of those and all you want. It's an all you can eat buffet. That is the private plane. Now we've got the corporate jet. This is for ad agency owners or agency, not necessarily ad. This is for agency owners that are looking to generate leads for their high value clients. They get a full client control panel here where they can add their clients. They can add campaigns for each client. They can set the pricing. You can set the pricing different for each of your clients. And again, you can get unlimited campaigns, unlimited leads to sell to your customers. They're all the same price. You get it wholesale price from us for $1.99 per lead. And then you can mark it up to whatever you want and sell it to them. Now we move to our full airliner mode. This is the this is the big one. This is this is where you get to white label this product as if it was your own. You can change the name of it. You don't have to call it acquisition air. You can change the logos, the look, the color scheme, the whole thing. You can brand it to match your business. And then you're basically in the software business. You have a, so a SaaS software that you can sell to people. You can charge them a monthly platform fee or even a weekly platform fee, whatever you want to access the platform. And then they can set up their own campaigns using your software. They can run their own leads. You set the wholesale pricing for them. The billing system is all built into this. You don't have to worry about billing. You just go into the control panel. You set your customer's prices. They come in, they set up an account, they put their credit card in, they run their campaigns. The billing is all auto done in the background. We use Stripe for the billing because with Stripe, we can split the payments. So when the customer pays you X amount, the $1.99 is automatically pulled from that transaction, sent to us to pay for the lead. And the rest is the profit that goes into your bank account, all automated. So all the billing is done for you. You don't need an additional billing system for this. Your, all of your customers, that you have your own control panel where they log in, they can create accounts, they can do the whole thing. And you just look like the magician that created the system. So that is our full airliner mode. You can also run it on your own domain. So you can put your own domain in, set the A record, and now it's running on your domain.com under your branding, the whole enchilada. So that's the three levels. And within the three levels, you get both of these. You get the search and the site. So you can sell one or the other or both to your customers. Again, these are your. this is the wholesale cost. It's going to cost you for the leads. You get to mark this up to whatever you want. Your customers will never see this. They only see your retail price. You can also, in the full airliner, you can set your prices on a customer by customer basis. So you could have them come in and automatically set up their campaigns under a default level, or you can create the campaigns for your customers and then you can set the pricing individually for each one. Like you might decide you want to charge different amounts for different leads in different niches. Like some niches will pay a lot more for leads. That gives you the ability to do that. So that's in the full airliner mode. All right. So the why, why you would want acquisition air. The big bullet points are, are light speed results. There's no more waiting or uncertainty. The leads arrive pretty much instantly. Now, when I say instantly, that's once the campaign is up and running. It does take some time for the campaign to, to, um, to propagate. So like you start a campaign, it might start a few hours from now or the next day in some cases, depending on when you, when you start it up. Uh, budget bliss. You can stop burning your ad budget on clicks, SEO, scams. Here, you're only paying for qualified leads. You're paying one at a time and you're getting exactly what you pay for. 
Control empowerment. This truly puts you in control with unmatched precision. You can adjust your lead flow as you need it. If you don't need leads on a Wednesday because you don't have anybody to follow up on them or whatever, you can turn it off on Wednesdays. You can turn it on and off as you as you choose. You can set how many you want per day. You can also set the geo-targeting. Like if you want these leads, so let's say you're a local business or you're selling leads to a local business, you can set this down to the zip code or a cluster. We recommend a cluster of zip codes. So you have total control on where the leads come from, the, you know, their geolocations, the keywords that are used, you set all of that. You're in total control. We've got the site or the search. So depending on, you know, which or both you want, you've got that. And sky's the limit. You know, you decide how much of the market you want. How many leads do you want today? How many do you want to leave out there for your competitors? Totally up to you. All right. If that isn't enough, this is going to help you acquire high quality leads instantly, reducing the time and effort required for lead generation. If you guys have ever done lead gen, you know this is a long, timely, excruciating process to generate leads. It doesn't matter if you're generating these for yourself or you're generating these for customers. This removes all of that. That headache is completely gone. This saves money. This, you're going to stop wasting money on advertising that is not consistent. This is consistent. SEO is the most inconsistent form of traffic that there is. Google can decide at any point in time to change the algorithm, to knock you off the post, to wipe you out. This puts you in control. This is not Google stuff. This is this is search across the entire internet. Let's say Google blows up tomorrow. Let's say they just get wiped off the face of the planet and there is no Google. That doesn't stop this. That doesn't stop you. You are in complete control. You have access to all the search boxes all over the internet, not just the one at Google. You're no longer at their mercy. So this also gives you a serious competitive edge being among the first people to leverage this technology. Your competitors may never hear about this. They may hear about it a year from now. It's going to give you a serious head start on generating leads and acquiring customers and growing your business, becoming unstoppable, wiping them out. <laughs> yeah. It, it streamlines the lead gen. The whole process is just straight as an arrow with this. It also gives you the ability to generate additional revenue. This is an incredible ad additional revenue stream. If you're in the agency business, if you're providing any services to any businesses at any level, what they want is leads. What they will pay for is leads. Why not have them pay you for the leads? They will be very gracious to get them from you. You can find customers. Like there's a lot of people out there that are buying leads in massive quantities. What they've figured out is they know how to convert them to dollars and they'll buy as many as there is as available. So this is like a gold mine for you. So let's see. I'm just going to skip over this stuff. If you want, if you guys want to go and read all this stuff, you can, but it's, it's pretty much the same stuff I've been hammering in for the last half hour. This is game changing technology. Every business is going to want and need, and it puts you in control of it. You know, this is, you, you can decide, do you want to stay doing SEO and getting your ass kicked and having the rug pulled out from you every 10 minutes, having complete, Customers complain about how expensive it is, how long it takes, uh, the reporting. It's just, it's an absolute nightmare to try and justify SEO to your customers. The reporting alone, they don't understand it. All they understand is how much money they make, how many customers they get. And you've got all this stuff to explain to them in the process. Or you can just say, 
how many leads do you want? How many leads does it take for you to get a customer? How many would you like to purchase? It's simple. So here is the pricing. Again, this is the standard pricing. This is not the price that you guys are going to pay. This is There's going to be a setup fee on each one of these. So for the private plane, the setup fee is $299, and then it's $99 a month for access to the platform. That platform is going to allow you to run all the campaigns you want and generate all the leads you want at $1.99 each, or $0.25 cents for the site leads. It gives you the whole bundle for $99 a month. The corporate jet, this is, again, this is for the lead gen companies. This is for any agencies that want to get into lead gen and be able to create an unlimited number of customer accounts, set the pricing for them, do all of that. And it's $9.97 for the setup. And then it's just $2.97 a month ongoing. And you get to lock these prices in for life. Again, the leads are $1.99 or $0.25 cents for the site leads, but you get unlimited. You can, you can, There's no limit on the number of customers you could serve or the number of leads you could generate for them and sell. And then the full airliner, again, this is the same as the corporate jet, but the only difference here is you get to put it on your domain. You get to rename it. You get to rebrand it fully white labeled. All of the emails go out from you the whole bit. This one is just $4.97 a month. It's $19.97 for the setup, $4.97 a month. And again, unlimited customers, unlimited leads, and you get to lock the price in for life. So that is, that is pretty phenomenal. These prices are spectacular, but again, that's not what you guys are going to get. When you guys get in on this today, you're going to get our Black Friday special. You're going to not pay any setup fees. And your price for the private plane is $49 a month for the platform. $197 for the corporate jet and $297 for the full airliner. Can you imagine having your own software branded under your company to sell an unlimited amount of leads, an unlimited amount of customers for $2.97 a month. We've made it ridiculous. Again, you get the bonus of the lifetime price lock on that. And you can sell an unlimited amount of leads. So this, this Black Friday special is up. I don't know if somebody put the... Somebody put the links in the chat for this. All right. And then Q&A, we've got a bunch of questions here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to start getting into answering questions for you guys. But I want you guys to realize what an opportunity this is. Like the beginning of this year, I didn't just like wake up one morning and go, you know, I'm going to get out of SEO this year. This was this was an opportunity that arose along the path, and I did not think twice about it. This was a game changer, and I hope you guys see that. And I hope you're I hope you're all going to jump in on this. I really do. Whether this is whether you're doing this for your own business, whether you are trying to start a business and you just haven't figured out what to do yet, or you know, whether you're running an agency and you just want an add-on that is ridiculously profitable, this is what you've got. This pretty much covers the whole, the whole bundle of anyone that's here. Anyone that's on my list, you fall into one of those categories. So I really hope that you guys get this, understand this, and, and take advantage of this. This Black Friday special, we're going to run it through through the weekend, probably through the Cyber Monday thing. Again, you guys are the only ones that are seeing this. You're the only ones that are getting access to this right now. So gives you a serious head start on things. All right. So let's see here. Let me get into the Q&A. All right. So 
Sue is asking the investment from our side. This is it. There's no setup fees. If you jump in on this right now, there's no setup fees. It's you pick the plane you want. If you want the private plane, the corporate jet or the full airliner and respectively, it's 49 per month for the private plane, 197 for the corporate jet, 297 for the full airliner. Okay, so let's see. All right, next one. I have to leave the webinar. Um, will this still be beta? The beta will, like I said, the beta will at least run through Monday. I may extend it uh, a little further out for you guys, but plan on it being through Monday at least. Okay, Brian's asking with white label, so are we competing with you at 199 price point? Okay, so I'm really not looking to sell this retail. I'm looking to offer this up to you guys to do that. I am I am so done with like working the retail side of things. That's why in SEO, I haven't really done SEO for for clients other than my own clients that I had 25 years ago. I haven't really taken on any SEO customers under my own brand for probably a decade. I've been doing SEO for resellers, letting them sell it, letting them mark it up. Just they're buying it all retail or re wholesale rather from me. So I have no interest at all in competing with anyone on a retail basis because I don't want to do retail. I'm going to be the back end, the fulfillment for you guys. So you guys are, are really, there's nobody else going to be selling this at $1.99. You're buying it at that, and then you're marking it up to whatever you want. So no competition whatsoever from my side. Okay. Uh, Jason's asking, how extensive is the follow-up? The follow-up really is up to you how you want to follow up. We have the SendGrid integration. You could set up a follow-up sequence as short or as long as you want. I would recommend the longer, the better, because as you know, follow-up is the key to conversion. So I would, I would personally not do a follow-up sequence that was less than probably seven touches. And like I said, I would probably do more. Okay. And again, you guys hang, hang with me here. I'm going to take you in or either me or Brady is going to take you in and actually show you the control panel and how to set the accounts up and all that stuff. So I just wanted to get to some of these, uh, some of these questions, because there's a bunch of them. So I want to, I want to make sure you guys get all your questions answered here. Uh, can SynGrid tie to any CRM? The idea like with me, with SendGrid, what I'm using SendGrid is, or for is I have Kartra as my CRM. So what I'm doing is in the SendGrid emails, I'm sending links to my Kartra landing pages to get them to opt in further or make offers to them. So I'm just using the SendGrid just to, just to create the interests. And then I, I move them over into my real CRM. That's what I'm doing for my customers. Uh, that's what I would recommend that you do for yours. Okay. If you're selling direct to business at 97 per month, what is the retail price of search? There is no real retail price here. It, in lead gen, the retail price is whatever the market will bear. Depending on your customer or your clientele, like I said, there's some clients that are paying a tremendous amount higher than others for leads. Like if you go into uh, a really specialized field that's high dollar, like mesothelioma, that is, that's like cancer. That's like lung cancer from asbestos. Those attorneys will pay hundreds of dollars per lead, hundreds of dollars and if you're generating these leads for $1.99 and you're able to sell them for a hundred or hundreds of dollars, that's a huge markup. Now, on the other side of the scale, there might be a situation where somebody can't even afford to pay $1.99 for a lead. Like if they're selling gumballs one at a time, 
they can't afford to spend a dollar ninety nine for a lead where they're going to sell a five dollar or a five cent gumball, right? So you have to you have to choose your market wisely. You know, when you're going into your business and and planning that out, you want to focus on profitability. Like a lot of you are in my ACT program where we teach marketing and I'm, I mentor a bunch of people in marketing. That's one of the first things we talk about is segmenting the market to identify where the profit is. You always, whatever business you're in, whatever market you're in, you always want to go to where the money is. You go to the profit first. Generally, when you when you start peeling business out of the profitable segment, you never want to leave. You never even go back to any of the other segments. So hopefully that answers that. Okay. Guido says it all comes down to know how and why it works. That is absolutely true. So hopefully I've answered that for you guys, how and why this is working, like the whole methodology behind this. The whole methodology behind search and, and acquiring customers. Hopefully, hopefully you guys get that at this point. Okay, so here's a question. Can you explain how do you how to use this to sell leads to real estate agents? How are the keywords used in, in case like this? Uh okay, so the keywords in here, this is something that we're going to get into more in the training of how to do the keyword selection. Keyword selection here is very different than the keyword selection in SEO. And SEO is very difficult to do your keyword research. In here, it's much easier. We're only focused on three word phrases, where in SEO, you can go long tail phrases. You can go out to like 10, 12, 15 words in a phrase because you have to. Here, you don't have to. We're using AI. And with AI, all it's looking for is to see that the search phrase matches all three of your words and criteria. And then it will get every variation of that keyword phrase for you. So it's much easier to do the keyword selection here. Now, as far as how to sell to them, any market that you go into, you just have to figure out the who, the what, and the why of that market. Who's buying the leads, what's important to them, and why it's important. And then you propose your product or your service to fulfill that. That's really, I mean, that's marketing. That is marketing. Marketing is how you sell anything, whether it's leads or products or, or whatever. So, and again, if you need help with that, I would highly recommend that you join our ACT program, our ACT marketing protocol. And I'm on there every Thursday, every week, every Thursday, helping people figure out their marketing and, and get that in play. So, okay. Do we need to create our own website to sell leads or do you provide a website to sell the leads? You do, like if you get the white label, if you get the full airliner, we're giving you the back-end website. We're not building front-end websites for you so that that would be, you'd be on your own with that. You can use, you know, any of our copy or anything like that. We do have a full web development department. If you need a website developed, I have a full development team that can do that for you, but that's not part of this program. You're welcome to add that on if you need a website built. Um, if you need help with any of that stuff, just, just reach out. Let me know. I'm happy to help you with the, whatever you need. Okay. Is there a list of types of businesses, insurance, SEO, website, et cetera? There is a list. It's called the dictionary. It's just about anything under the sun that you want to generate business for here. There really isn't a list. I have not compiled a list. Most people in, in business, they already understand, you know, who their clientele is and, and, you know, that would be the list I would go to first is serving whoever you're serving currently and just offer this as an additional service. You know, that's a really good way to start out and get, uh, get cooking on that. All right. Do you, do you recommend long tail? No, we, we actually cannot use long tail here. We are limited to three words. You can use one, two, or three word phrases. 
And the reason for that is our data feeds. If we went to a fourth keyword in the phrase, our data feeds would go up exponentially in cost. So for us to keep this down to 199, we have to limit it to three words in the phrase. But that said, that is incredibly powerful and it makes life way easier as far as keyword research here. You don't have to use all the throwaway words. Like you don't have to use local or best or, or anything like that. You just put in the words that you actually want and we're gonna get every variation of a search around that for you. So you, you do not need long tail for this. All right, okay, let's see. Thomas has a project in his Jersey. It has to do with the marijuana dispensary. That is perfectly fine here. Um, as far as like what you can use this to advertise for, I know advertising is kind of dicey on a lot of different subject matter. For us, as long as it's legal, we're pretty good with it. So no, no problems there that I foresee. Okay. All right. So Brian is asking, first month service, uh, does it include some leads? Yes. You're when you get in here, like the $49 a month, that is that's access to the platform. So your monthly fee is the platform access you are free to set up as many campaigns and generate as many leads as you want from the first day. So you are, yeah, you can have as many leads as you want off the platform. Keep in mind, you know, it's the platform fee is one fee. That's the fee to access the platform. And then your lead fee is per lead. So again, you can have as many as you want. You can generate them as fast as you'd like. Okay. Let's see the Black Friday link. It's in the chat. So look in the chat. Uh, Julio says chat is disabled. Uh, yeah, you guys don't see that. All right. Chat is disabled. All right, we'll deal with that. We'll put the we'll put the buy link in here for you guys somehow. Yes, it is being recorded. How granular can we get on the geo targeting? Okay, you can get down to the zip code. We recommend that you do as far as zip codes, we we recommend that you do clusters of zip codes not just one all right for site leads can you make a representation on degree of coverage okay so i believe we get about 70 percent i i think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 percent of the leads that come to your site we would be able to identify and get for you so that should uh that should do it. Okay, how to how do the leads get distributed? Okay, perfect. So Google Sheets, that is the default. We have a Google Sheet default document that hooks up and the leads are distributed into that Google Sheet in real time as they come in. So if you want to zap them into your CRM and handle it that way, you're free to do that. We also have the integration with SendGrid. So SendGrid, for those that don't have the have a CRM or don't have the capability of zapping those into the CRM and having instant follow-up, we have SendGrid that, uh, that can do that for you. Okay, so let's see here. What kind of training will be included? Uh, this the training will be pretty extensive. We'll have training both on the platform itself, how to do the platform. We also have uh, both Bree and Brady as far as being able to walk you through the setup. You know, they're available to help you set up and get get it all put together, all of that. But we'll have lots of training. I'll have training in there about 
you know, how to run agency stuff, how to, how to set up white label, um, all that kind of good stuff in there. All right. Steve wants to know if I go with private plane today, can I move up to corporate jet in three months and will the price be locked in? The price may be different three months from now, but you will be able to, to move up. And the one thing that I'll do for you guys is whatever the price is, we'll knock the setup fees. Since you guys are getting in without the setup fees, uh, we'll, we'll make sure that that, uh, that doesn't, that follows through for you. Okay, Thomas, about site pixel information. Most of them don't know the data they get. Okay, so for, as far as the data that you get with this, you're getting the their name, their address, their phone number, and the email. So let me talk about phone numbers for a second. The phone name, the phone numbers that come out of here, remember I said that these these leads are matched up against a, a consumer database to pull their contact information. Uh, a lot of times when people are filling out forms on the internet, they almost always put the email in correctly because they want to receive whatever data, whatever information. But uh, in most cases, they'll put in bogus phone numbers. So quite honestly, we have not found the phone numbers to be really dependable. It's a low, a low percentage of them that are dependable. But the emails that we've scrubbed the emails, we've made sure they're deliverable. The emails are right on the money. So we recommend that you initiate an email sequence follow-up campaign for each one of these leads and then move them into phone, get them to verify their phone numbers, and then you can call them and do whatever you want with them. Uh, Okay, let's see. So like I said, on the pricing, you guys are free to upgrade the pricing as you wish, but uh, the pricing may be different after this. The one thing that I will do for you guys is we won't we won't add a setup fee to it. Like once you're in your setup, we can upgrade you without without the setup fees. Okay, so that, that has been a common question here multiple times, so I'm going to skip that. I've already answered that one. Okay. All right, Thomas says you're dropping everything for this. That That's what I want to hear. You know, that's that's what I expected out of this, quite honestly. Um, let's see, here's one about a working API. Yes, we have uh, API capability in there. We're actually integrating more programs. The first one out of the gate is SendGrid. Very soon, I think the next one we'll be rolling out will be an integration with Go High Level. I know a lot of people are on Go High Level, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much what we'll what we'll be adding in next. All right, is there training for my customers in the full airliner? I am going to be creating some uh, some basic training using an AI robot. So it's not me. I know most people don't want me on their training when that's perfectly, perfectly fine and acceptable. Uh, so yeah, I, I will be doing that. I'll be creating some stuff, uh, some stuff there. Okay. Wow. These, these questions are pouring in faster than I can answer them. Okay, so you're getting info from people searching. Okay, so so David's asking, how do you call this a lead because they haven't asked for anything? This is a this is about the best lead you're gonna get. I mean, you can call leads however you want. We're we're basically saying, that we're classifying this as a lead because this person has searched and consumed content in a consistent basis to qualify as a lead. So if that's not your definition of a lead, then you know maybe this just isn't for you and that is perfectly fine. If you wanna buy leads that are actually qualified, you go through a lead gen company, they'll put you on the phone with somebody that is like ready to talk to you. If that's what you consider a lead, you're not going to get that lead for $1.99. You're going to get that lead for probably $75.
So if that's your classification of a lead, that will probably be a better solution for you. This is not for everybody, guys. This is not like, this is not the answer to your prayers if you don't know how to close leads. This is lead generation. If you've got people that that know how to follow up on identified leads, this is the this is the golden goose for you. The wholesale price on this is is phenomenal. And you can get the uh, there's a lot of other programs out there that are doing nothing but scraping a bunch of garbage information and just pouring it on top of you. That's not what this is. This is actual high intent from search. We're identifying these leads as as from search intent. Search intent, I've, I've been doing SEO and search for clients for the last 25 years. And I can tell you with no uncertainty, it's the best traffic on the planet. Here, we've just sidestepped the grueling, agonizing chore of doing SEO to get in front of people to be one of 10. And we're just telling you who's doing the searching. So to me, that's a pretty goddamn qualified lead, if you ask me. Uh, again, you could see it differently. Uh, I don't want to be argumentative about that, but based on my experience, these are pretty damn good leads. That's how I classify this as a lead. All right. Okay. So in the training area, they're asking as, uh, is, is there how to do this with, with, uh, converting leads to customers. That is more marketing. That's more what we cover in our ACT program. So if you need help with actually converting customers, I'd probably recommend that you guys jump into our ACT program. So that would that would be my best answer there. The training inside of uh, inside the the training portal is going to be more like how to use the software, how to set up campaigns, how to make successful campaigns, and all that. It's not the marketing after the fact. Okay. All right. Quality of leads um, from their intent. Okay. Add searches from Facebook. So when you're talking about search intent, it doesn't really matter what search box somebody's using. If they're like, you know, if you're talking about the search box inside of Facebook, people are generally not in Facebook searching for products. They're usually in Facebook searching for people. So we're not going to be able to generate, we're not going to generate leads that are not relevant for you. You know, this has a lot to do with common sense here. Um, you know, there's no reason to look at this and try and find, you know, what's wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. The only thing wrong is the is the concept and and what you're doing. If if you don't know what you're doing in business, this isn't going to make sense for you. You know, we're talking about search across the entire internet. We're talking about sifting out people that are looking for things where they should be looking for them. You know, there's there's no sense in trying to compare apples to oranges about the difference between search and Facebook and Google. That's not what this is about. This goes beyond all of that. This takes all the all the nitpicky crap right off the table. We're we're looking at people's search intent across the entire internet. We're going to be grabbing the best of the best and handing it to you right to your door. All right, let's see. Do you have somebody to help find the best keywords for the search? This is uh Bruce, this is very similar to SEO as far as the keyword research but it's it's more on a baseline level it's it, all you have to do is find the the mo the main keywords for this and then you put them together in blocks of three i will be covering that pretty extensively in the training i'll do a whole section just on keyword research for that okay all right so Thomas is asking about how to use this with Kartra, meaning create follow, the proper follow-up sequences. Okay, so like currently we have SendGrid built in. SendGrid is a, it's a bulk mail program. Now we're not using it for bulk mail. 
we're using it just for for mailing but we're using a bulk mail provider because like i said these these people have not really opted into you they've opted into the internet so they have agreed to to receive marketing materials across the internet but what you want to do is you want to get them opted into your actual funnel so we're using sendgrid in the interim to try and make that jump try and make that connection so all right let's see here Can you show us an example of what the lead looks like when it gets to the customer? Okay, so yeah, it's it's a Google Doc spreadsheet. And it's basically its name, address, phone number, email, and the keyword that they came in through. So that's how it, that's how it comes through. Pretty basic. If you're connecting to SendGrid, it's basically connecting to your auto response sequence. And you can have like a mole, you can have a, a ton of different campaigns you can have a ton of different autoresponders and you connect the campaign to the appropriate autoresponder that way whoever comes through for whatever keyword gets the right answer so that's the way that works okay all right so again there's there's I have mentioned this before. There's a lot of offers out there that look similar to this. They're nothing more than scrapers. I've never seen anything at all that is even remotely close to what we're doing. Okay. And yes, you can integrate any autoresponder. You can use uh, Zapier or Zapier, whatever you call it there, to connect us to whatever lead program that you want. We also, like I said, we'll be integrating other things into the system as we go. Okay. Will you be able to get leads from the search input from homes in Zillow? Yeah, any any search across the entire internet is what we're using to grab these. So whatever search box they're using, uh, we're following them around. Okay. Okay. And as far as as far as training on follow up email, again, that's marketing, and that is more covered in our Act Marketing Protocol series than than in here. This is going to be like more the nuts and bolts of lead generation, and and how to connect the dots and put all that stuff together. If you're looking for marketing advice, uh, that is a completely different animal. And I highly recommend it. I highly, marketing is the most valuable skill set you're ever going to learn. And that's what we teach in the ACT Marketing Protocol. So I know a lot of you guys are already in there. Some of you maybe have never heard of it. I'm going to send out another email um, later this afternoon. And I will put, I'll put the replay to this. And for anybody that's interested in the marketing material, I'll actually put the link in there for the Act Marketing Protocol if any of you guys are interested in that. Okay, we've covered that. Is it possible to use Gmail to, to email the leads? Yes, absolutely. In fact, that's one of the resources that we have in the training is a program called GMAS. And you can use GMAS to take the take the email addresses that come right into your Google Sheet and send them out directly from there. So you can do that. All right. Are people who use a VPN for their internet access blocked from the... Yeah, I don't actually know the answer to that, Chris. Um, I'm assuming not because we're looking at the at the data from the search, but I could be wrong on that one. So I don't really have a true answer on that one for you. I apologize for that, but I'll I'll find out. I'll talk to the to the programming team and so I can answer that one next time. Okay. Chat disabled. I think I think uh Brady, did we figure out how to get the links in the chat? I think it says the chat is disabled. I think that's from your side. Okay, let me see if I can figure out how to I think it's I think it's chat disabled for the people, but I think we can put it in there as administrators. Mm. 
Because I, I see, like, you just put your link in there. I see it in the chat. Yeah, but it says host and panelists. It doesn't say everyone. So I'm not sure. It, we don't have an option in ours, oh, actually. Change, change your... Uh, let me see here. It My, won't allow us to change it to everybody. It only allows us to change it to yeah. the host and panelists. It only panel. has... John Bree and then host and panelists. It doesn't have everyone in there. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, let me see. I I I have ultimate power here from my how's that? That go out to everyone now? It says to everyone. Yeah, it says to everyone, yeah. All right, cool. So there's uh there's the link. So you can go in there and uh now you guys have access. I apologize for that. I didn't realize that the the co-panelists couldn't put that in. So I got that in there for you. All right. So Jeffrey wants to know the percentage of conversion on these leads when properly nurtured. There's no real answer for that because you're talking about hundreds, if not thousands, or, or thousands, if not tens of thousands of different niches that are all going to react differently. So there, there's no way for me to give you like a set percentage. I can tell you of the beta testers, I got feedback from the beta testers that had already been doing this for years and other, you know, with other methods. And they said that our, our conversion ratio was as good and in many cases better than the other things that they'd been using for years. So that was all I really needed to hear to know that the quality of this is, is right on par. But I can't really give you any percentage I would give you. It's like somebody asking me, how long does it take to SEO a keyword? There's no way I can answer that. It depends on your marketing. It depends on the email that you're sending out, how good your conversion is in your copy. There's There's all kinds of variables to that. So there's no way to really answer that. Okay, so again, the search, the data that you get with it is name, email, phone number, and physical mailing address. Okay, you can use a Weber, I believe, if you zap the information over to it. Okay, so SendGrid, the, the advantage of SendGrid over GMAS, I really am not too familiar with gmas a couple of people have turned me on to that just for information so i added it into the training but as far as like the the pros and cons of each i really don't know the the nuances of gmas to be able to answer that now SendGrid, i i can tell you is a full follow-up auto response program so it will do multiple follow-ups i'm not sure if gmas will do the multiple follow-ups or not so I know it's a mail program. It'll mass mail Gmail addresses, but I don't know as far as like uh, what its capabilities are. Okay, so pros and cons versus site pop. There really is that. That's like comparing apples to oranges. Uh, site pop is absolutely phenomenal for what it does. Site pop is a is an SEO signal software that sends signals into Google. Uh, Bing, Amazon, um, and it, it it does phenomenal at what it does, but it's on the SEO side of things. When we're talking about lead gen, we've, we've exited the building on SEO. <laughs> this is a whole different animal. So, all right. Okay, so Jonathan put a link in here. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually copy that link. That's uh, for Go High Level. I'm gonna check that out later on. So thank you for that, Jonathan. All right. Will the geofencing product you offer? This does not. Again, this is the geofencing that we have is a completely different product, different type of marketing altogether. We've got a lot of things. We have a lot of tools under our hood. This is a phenomenal tool for what it is, but it doesn't have anything to do with the our geo-targeting product. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with our SEO products. This is purely lead gen. 
This is like just cut to the chase. I want to know who's looking for my stuff and give them to me for $1.99. That's what it's all about. Okay, for SendGrid, I believe you have to have a paid plan in SendGrid. SendGrid, I think you can get a, a paid plan for like $9.95 a month or something like that. So I'm not sure if it'll work with the with the free, but I don't believe so because you need the API access key. And I don't think you get the API access key with the free version of SendGrid. So I think you need at least the basic SendGrid model. All right. We do not, like Jimmy, we do not include follow-up sequences. We're, we're not writing your marketing for this. There's way too many niches for that. I mean, that's, that would be out of way out of our scope of, of work for this project. All right. Are there templates again? That's another question about marketing. We're not writing your templates. There's way too many niches for that. The only way you're going to be successful in conversion is if you're doing like what I mentioned earlier, you're figuring out who you're marketing to, who you're selling to, what they want and why they want it. And you need to be incredibly specific to them. If you're not writing personalized emails that's going to hit home with your prospects, your 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 effectiveness is going to be down the shitter. You know, there's no way to use templates. If if anybody sells you a bill of goods saying use my templates to sell to any marketplace, they're full of shit. You should just grab your wallet and run. You need to do marketing that makes sense for whatever you're doing. You know, like you guys know me. I am a complete straight shooter with this. I've been doing this a long time and I've seen so much crap products offered out there. There, there is no magic bullet to marketing. Marketing is a skill set that you, you need to either learn or you need to hire it out. If you don't want to learn it, you don't want to do it, and you still want to be successful, you need to hire it out. Now, that said, we are working on a couple of different providers for those of you that don't want to deal with that. You just want to generate the leads and you don't want to deal with the aftermath. We're going to have some providers that will actually set up and do your email campaigns for you. They're good marketers. They know what they're doing. Um, I don't have pricing yet on those services. They're they're working out bulk pricing for me to pass on to everybody. But we will have that available. But there's no such thing as a magic template for you to use as far as marketing. Right? It just doesn't exist. Um, as far as the API for Go High Level, I would say, you know, we we might be a month away on that realistically but that is the, the next one to be out. All right. Can you upgrade? Yes, that question's been answered several times there. You can upgrade later without the setup fees. I don't know what the pricing is going to be at the time when you're looking to upgrade though. Okay. So Delilah is asking about generating uh, leads for crowdfunding campaigns. Absolutely. This, this even works for things that are temporary. Like let's say you want to generate leads for a conference that is on a specific date. Like I said, you can turn this on and off like a faucet. So you can turn it on, generate the leads. When you're done with it, you just switch the campaign off and, and figure out what you want to market next, what you need, need leads, what you need leads for next. <laughs> That was a tongue twister. All right. Yes, we will do a walk through the dashboard here. I can't believe how many questions we've got. So I'm just trying to chew through the questions here so we can get to the back, get to the next part. And I will have Brady walk, give us a quick walk through on the, on the back of the dashboard if he's up for that. If not, I'll, I'll jump in and give it a shot. But he is at, he's got like 10 times more time on it than I do. So I, <laughs> I think he's going to give you a smoother operation there. <laughs> we can do it. All right. Okay. So we're almost there. We've got a few more questions left here. All right. Is ACT, is your ACT program focusing on how to make this work the best way for our customers? 
yes, ACT is a marketing pro protocol. And it's, it's a, basically, it's a whole way to look at marketing and your business in general. So ACT will definitely help you, uh, you know, if you need help with your business or your marketing, for sure. And we do those calls every Thursday. It's every Thursday. It's live uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we're usually on there for a couple hours answering questions and helping people. And everything's recorded, so you can get access to it. All right. Libby says, if I have corporate jet, I have a landing page in Kartra to send them to with a URL. Uh, is that how I would market this? Yes, absolutely. That would be my recommendation is you create your landing pages on your own site. You use SendGrid or GMAS or something of that nature to send them to those landing pages. That's exactly how I would recommend doing this. All right. Dave wants to know certain niches that work best. I'm always going to defer to profitability on that question. If there's profit in the market and, you know, you, you, you've qualified a, you know, a, a profitable marketplace, then yeah, that's going to be where I would go. All right. Training days and times are, so the training is going to be done sporadically over the, probably the next 30 days. And then we'll continue to do like best practices uh, webinars on an ongoing basis. So there really isn't a schedule for it. They're all recorded if you can't make it. So everything will be in our, our training portal for you. Okay. All right. Is it only private plane that we would have to do our own billing with clients? Yes. The, the client billing is done all through the system with the other two. So if you're, if you're doing the private plane, basically you're just buying the leads for yourself. All right. Uh, currently, we're not grabbing social media information with our with our leads. Just basic information that I had said. We are also planning uh, at some point in the near future to do an, an extension of the data that you're getting. And we'll call that a premium lead. And it will have more data, it, mostly for high ticket stuff like realtors, uh, realtors and solar It'll be data like home ownership, annual income, that kind of stuff to like pre-qualify if somebody's, uh, you know, available for your offer. Okay. Yes, we will be showing the back end here very shortly. So hang in here. We're just trying to get through the, through the questions. Okay. Selling leads to lead agency. That again, that's marketing. Anytime you're getting into the selling and the conversion and all that stuff, that's that's marketing. We're trying to focus here today just on the nuts and bolts of the system. People that understand what this is, they're going to know what it's all about. And uh, the act marketing is basically what you want. If you want to, if you need to have info about uh, marketing and all that stuff. Uh, this is not good for outside the U.S. We're only collecting leads currently inside the U.S. borders. So, all right. Okay. I don't really know about opt-out rates and send grid. I'm not really sure how to answer that one. That's probably, again, going to be on a on a case-by-case -case basis. SendGrid does have monthly fees. You'll have to look that up on their site. I think it's like... I think it's like $10 a month, something like that for the lowest plan. And that's really all you need. Okay. Yes, lead info is name, address, email, and phone. If you want it, you can collect the phone numbers. Okay. All right. How much testing have you done? This program has been extensively tested. And like I had said earlier, what we've found is the phone numbers are it's a very small percentage of the phone numbers that are good and accurate, but the emails are almost a hundred percent. They're, they're verified, they're scrubbed. They, we, they've been removed from all the blacklist stuff and all the blockers and all that stuff. So it's a pretty high percentage that is good on that. Okay. Sue needs to change her email in the system. Yeah, we can handle that. Brady can, 
work that out for you, I'm sure. Okay, that was answered. We're we're chipping through these uh through these questions here. We're almost ready for our walkthrough. Okay, again, just for the US, does the program work with Mailgun? That is another integration that we're going to be doing very soon. That one will be coming up quick. All right. Do you have a list of current lead costs per industry? No, I really don't. Um, you would you just have to look that up. We're not looking to be the expert in all the all the different lead gen areas. We're the software to allow you to do that. Like you need to be the professional in something. We're the professional in generating the leads for you. You need to be the professional in your industry. You know, when it comes to the marketing and the industry itself, that that's really kind of on you to do that research. Okay. Can you tell me more about selling leads instead of offers? It's it's very simple. There's companies, there's almost every company out there is willing to pay for leads. So if leads, if you want to make leads your product and you're selling leads as your product, that is your offer. And you're offering to sell leads at, you know, whatever price you want to put them at. That's pretty basic stuff. All right. On corporate jet, can clients see the branding? Okay. So on, on corporate jet, yes, they could see the branding if you let them into the control panel, but you don't need to do that. You can set it up where all they see is the Google sheet with the leads in it and they don't see anything behind the scenes. You just build them separately and, and go about it that way. So you can, you can do it that way. All right. All right. Does the, does the retail client. Okay. Walk through setup and payment. Yes. That stuff is all built in. There's, there's helper files in there. All right. Any Black Friday deals on ACT? Yes, there is. Um, I know ACT normally sells for $2,000. We have a Black Friday for $99. So I'll get you guys the link on that. All right. Successful searches. All right. Brian says, let's get to the back end. And all right, so we have no more questions officially. So I'm going to close out the Q&A at this point. And I'm going to stop my share. And uh, you want to you want to do the walkthrough, Brady, or you want me to give it give it a crack? Whatever you want to do, boss. I can do it. No worries. All right, let's see. I'm going to save my save the rest of my wind and let you have the let you take the sales here for a minute. Well, I'll let you. Uh kind of guide here so make so, sure I'm on my right page so I'm going to do a a agency view if that makes sense John yes uh, we can I do have a demo account set up to see kind of a client facing I would well. I would I would set up that I would set up the, like the demo account that you've got there and walk okay. them through the white label on the demo account okay like, like how to set up their profile how to set up a campaign, all the different things that, uh, yeah. that is at their disposal on what they can set up and how they can control their own campaigns. Yeah, and then when we're done, um, I'm going to have to back a couple of meetings off, so this is a little bit more important right now. So I'll do this. Uh, we'll do a um, white label agency or an agency and go how to go through your profile, like John said, and go through uh, setting up a client. Um, admin as well as a campaign and then I'll actually show you uh, if we can fairly quickly on the um, client facing as to what your client sees as well because that's a pertinent question I think some people actually asked as well so give me okay. uh, a Perfect. second here all right John can you see that yep all right yep, we got gotcha. you out of the way and I'm going to go fairly quick I do have a few meetings of folks that are ready to onboard. They've already booked my calendar. So <laughs> that's um, awesome. So when you first log in, um, obviously the transaction is done through Kartra, through the actual acquisition area webpage that you guys saw. 
Once you do that, you will have a couple of emails show up. One of those, if you were doing an agency, so corporate or full airliner, you'll get an email that says uh, agency account setup. Once you get that username and password, this will bring you to this profile page. So you set up your personal profile. Nobody sees this. It's just personal information. Uh, you can update your logo uh, there and then you hit next. It'll take you to your business profile. Same thing. You can actually click this button here. If you just want to use the same personal contact as your business contact, change your logo as well. Uh, I like this little tagline, making the competition feel like paper airplanes. Just think I'd point that out. Um, go to the next, and you'll actually have one more setup on here, which is basically entering your credit card information. For the sake of demo, we already did that. I have a couple of campaigns and things that I set up, but I'll go through this. So once you're set up, your profile, et cetera, you'll go to general settings. We actually already have our Stripe account set up, but this is actually gonna be where you'll go in, you'll have a separate Stripe account that you're wanna to attach to this specific operation uh, of yours. It'll actually go through those parameters um, and you'll get your Stripe account set up. It'll take you to a separate page. Tell it what email you want uh, connected to this actual Stripe. And that is gonna be where you're gonna have deposits being made into that Stripe account. Um, as you set your credit card up, like we just did on the profile, that is a just in case if you're an agency, your clients are your responsibility, not ours. So if a client of yours, for whatever reason, a credit card fails, that is your responsibility. It will automatically charge the credit card that you have on file. So the only thing, best case scenario, if nothing happens, right? Hopefully it doesn't. You will only see deposits into your Stripe account that you check or that you connect here. Um, on this web page right here. Once that's in there, you're good to go. You'll go in, you'll connect what Google Sheets you want connected to your account. Uh, obviously we do use SendGrid, but um, as a default, we use Google Sheets. It plays well with most people. So you actually go in, connect your Google Sheets. Um, right now, currently, when you go into that, you will see a page that comes up that says something about settings API. That is a white label, white label, an anonymous API site that we've set up. If you hit that page, you just want to click on advanced and then it'll automatically take you to the Gmail, uh, Google setup where you'll basically select all as far as editing purposes and then hit continue and automatically connect your Google Sheets. This default pricing, this is for site AI like John talked about as far as uh, monitoring website traffic on your specific um, website as maybe you want to set up an internal customer of your own agency, you can do that. And then also search AI default prices. I want to, I want to make sure everybody, you know, understands this. I think John, you may have not three under the bus. You may have went ahead of both of our development. We only have default pricing currently today as an internal, all of your clients, there's a default price for all of your clients in the near future there will be default pricing per client. We do not have individual pricing per, I think one person asked niche or industry or whatever it may be. You will have in the future default pricing right here where you can actually go in and set it up per client. You may have a client over here that's personal injury leads and you're selling them leads or over here is a doggy daycare and there may be a little bit less of a lead, you can actually do that in the future. But as it stands today, the default pricing for both site and search is for all of your clients acting as one. You can go in and set up a one-time setup fee. You can do a weekly campaign fee. So a setup fee and then you can do like a platform maintenance fee is what that campaign, that weekly campaign fee is. We do not see any of those two fees right there. The only cost per lead on site that you will see that goes to us is the wholesale cost, which John went through at the 25 cents. The only billing you can set up is weekly. That is there by default for some safety reasons for you as the agency to not have thousands and thousands of leads. And for whatever reason, your customer that you only known for a week uh, leaves you hanging dry and you're footing the bill for those leads. Search AI, same thing, one-time setup fee, a weekly campaign fee, platform fee, if you want to call it, and then a cost per lead. Same thing with weekly billing. Once you get that set up for what you want all of your clients to have a default price, and I will say you can go in when we go a little bit further and actually change per campaign in any of the prices that you want to. Once that's done, you hit the little green save button. We go down here, 
If you're a white label, so a full airliner, which is what this actual demo is, you will see white label your domain. You can click here for more information that allows you to actually point your A record to this, this address here. You got a couple documents. I would prefer having your tech person on helping you do this. If you're not the person for that, um, you can create your own domain. Uh, as far as an agency, so corporate jet, not full airliner, there will be another box just above this where you actually put in a subdomain. So a lot of people have asked, you know, what's the difference between the white label or full airliner and corporate? Really, the only thing is you actually get to white label full through and through. As you'll see, a white label has the ability to, to select their collar palette. They can change the dashboard collars here. That will be the same dashboard collar for your customers. You'll be able to go in and change the font. You'll change your different custom images for where your, your current uh, clients will log in where they will actually register. Maybe you have a landing page you're gonna be funneling people to and you want them to go register for this product or become a customer of yours. You can change that register image. This here is actually changing the product name. So if I go over here and you look at the left side where the little eyeball is at and I change this to site leads, it changes it right there. It actually allows you to name your product if you wanna name them different than what we have them here. This right here is actually when they click on one of these, the dashboard or the campaign management, it will actually change the URL up here. So right now you see general setting. If I was to click on one of these, it would actually change to internetdominators.app slash site leads. And obviously always hitting the save button after, I can't say that enough. Save, save, save. It never hurts to save one more time. As it stands, when you set up your agency, a default email that is currently our system as a white label, you don't want that. You want to actually use yours. So this is a, SMTP settings, you go in um, and change that for specifically your emails. And the reason being is once you hit save, all of your email te templates are already created. All of the back end things that we have when somebody forgot their password, and they want to reset it. When a campaign is created, search or site. When a campaign is archived, they deleted the campaign. When a campaign or an account is created, somebody registered. I just got a couple registration emails from just the webinar today that I'm an admin in our system. Billing unsuccessful. Those are the email templates that we have thus far. But they will not fire unless you do yours yourself. They will actually use the default until then. All right. Once that's done, you're good to go. Your general settings are out of the way. I would encourage you to come down here and start adding your administrator list. Um, we set up just a couple of them here. I set up my own personal email, so don't email me at that. Please, please, please. It's Brady at internetdominators.com or Bree, B-R-I, at internetdominators.com if you have some questions. Um, but you can have as many administrators as you want. If I go in here to this demo account, you see here, these must be unique new emails, no duplicate emails in our system. You can set as default admin. You can have as many default admins as you want, but you will only have one customer care admin. That is the person for us, that is Bree. Any emails you see from us as an agency, you'll see emails come in from us. It will say, if you have any questions or need support, it's going to be Bree at Internet Dominator. She is set as the customer care uh, within Acquisition Air. So once you get your admin set, you're good to go. All it is is clicking on admin, putting in their name, all the information, super admin. There's only one option, setting them as a default admin, and they're good to go. All right. I'm not going to say anybody have any questions because nobody can ask questions right now. And I see some questions, but John will have to answer those on the back end, maybe. All right. So client management. This is the one client that we actually set up uh, as a demo client. You would go here to add client. You would put in their name, contact. You get the idea. Disable all system emails to this client. This basically means... We have built this system from the one-off business owner that just wants to buy leads for themselves to the agency that has thousands and thousands of clients. And some of those clients, they may want to do a white glove service where they want to be the one that emails their client when they got their account set up, when they email their client how much they're going to charge them for campaign, when they email their client when it's all set up and ready to go, they want to be that. Or you cannot hit that and have your, your client get all the emails when campaigns are set up when things are when happening within the system. Disable client's ability to add campaigns. This will make more sense when I do the cl uh, client facing uh, dashboard, but you may not want to give your clients the ability to add campaigns. If you 
click this button that obviously that automatically means that you're disabling their ability to edit any campaigns which will make sense here in a minute so that's how you add a client again you're an agency you add a client the second thing that you do once you add a client is you've got to make sure that either they themselves once they actually go to your subdomain so for instance, this subdomain, um, I believe is this, yep. So this is just a, a random subdomain. This is nothing for you guys. This is a subdomain right here, lead7.realreach, just to become a demo customer. This is nothing, this was just specific, specifically for today. Then they would go in down here and click create an account. This is the subdomain that you gave them through your um, agency. For us, we're talking about a white label agency. So that would be a full white label agency. But they would go in, they would create an actual client account. They would fill out the profile like I just talked about for us as an agency, just like you did as an agency, as a client of yours. They would put in their personal, their business, their credit card. Once they put in their credit card, this credit card will turn green. If it's still gray and they email you and said, hey, got my card, good to go, and it's not green, that means their card is not validated. That means they will not show up here in this drop down list where it says view all. Once they're validated, they have a credit card on file. It shows here, we've actually got up two campaigns already set up in the system, but there is none running. This will show how many campaigns, site and search that that customer client has running. This will show how many they have set up. So if they have none set up and it's been a month and you're like, hey, you got your credit card validated, you came a customer 30 days ago, you got 14 campaigns set up, but none of them are running, what's going on? This is where you can actually go in and integrate send grid for your customers they can do that themselves if you give them that ability as far as adding campaigns and editing campaigns which you saw the button there they can enable send grid with their api key you have to do that per customer and then you have to go in and do that per campaign for that specific client i think i nailed home the client there once you have administrator set up you have client set up right everybody's probably if i look at the questions hey man get to the point let's talk about setting up campaigns. Let's go to search AI. Let's pick the client that we want to go to. I'm going to go to demo client. This is where all of your clients will show up. So when I click demo client, it automatically pulls up that customer's site AI campaigns. They may have multiple landing pages that they specifically want, as well as their search campaigns. You click campaign management. The dashboard is basically just going to give you a quick highlight of that specific customer and their site AI leads here, the lifetime total leads, how many leads have they bought from you? How much have they spent for those leads? All of that information as we scroll down. And then again, campaign management and the same thing for search AI, obviously they've bought no leads and you can actually do a drop down here with different campaigns that they have to see that dashboard. So there's a couple of different dashboards that you hear me talk about, but let's talk about the search AI first. So this is a toolbar for each specific campaign. Each campaign in a, in, a cam, in a client's portfolio will have this dashboard for each specific campaign. This is access to the Google Sheets. This will allow them, if you click on this, um, well, I forgot that on the sake of the demo, but that will basically allow them to go in and get access to their Google Sheets. You can also, if you have Google Sheets as an app already, uh, once you have the link, it'll actually send that once that campaign is started. Because when I go to a campaign, this is already pre-populated. We've built this totally scalable where you can go in and add campaigns at will in literally less than a minute if you have the keywords already in bulk. Name your campaign, Where, which person do you want this to, to send to? You can have multiple there if you have multiple. Currently, it is not a comma between persons. It's actually a stack form that you would put in that person on the next level. That will be a comma in the future. You can do a national target, a state target, where you would go in and actually pick different states. Or you can do all the way down to the zip code level. Unclick. State, this is also stack form. We recommend minimally, minimally 10 zip codes. 
ideally 20 to 30. You know, John said cluster, ideally 20 to 30, as well as if you're a realtor, maybe just maybe with enough people that are looking on Zillow, Redfin, or um, what's the other one? Real Zillow, Zillow, Redfin, or realtor.com. Maybe with those as keywords, you'd find enough people that are on those sites, but that's specifically just for real estate. In my opinion, you're going to want to have minimally 10 zip codes, if not best 20 to 30. If we go down to the keywords, these are where people are actually searching for one, two, and three word keywords. We only do one, two, and three. John may be able to explain this a little bit better, but if there's a long tail keyword or a long string keyword you feel like might be advantageous, find the three most powerful words in that phrase. They don't have to make sense. And we will go out and we will find those three keywords in those searches for you because of what you typed here. If you type in two syllables, it will not work. When you hit enter, it will not add it. If you type in one, two, three, three syllables or RTL, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever word you want to give it, that's fine. If you do two, that's fine. Three, again, these are not good grammar, but if I do four keywords and I hit enter, it will not add that keyword. It is only one, two, and three word keywords. John, cut me off if you want to talk about any of this as far as your experience um, with with keywords and things. Oh, you no worries. You're you're right on track there. I'll All do right. I'll do that also in the training. Once they get into the training portal, I'll okay. cover keyword research specifically. Cool. So I can also do all of this in bulk. So I'm going to delete all of these and show you that if I have them all with just a comma in between them, no spaces, I can also enter them all at once. It's much easier to do that. You can also come down here and copy and paste into the contextual. So again, John will explain some of this. You do not have to hit enter anything. These are only separated by a comma. Again, one, two, and three word keywords. These are what people are reading about. So not only can we help you find who's searching in search bars, but we can also tell you who's reading about those same, same keywords or different keywords in the context of pages, contextual, articles, all of that that people are on the website searching for. Once that's done, we'll come up here. It always defaults to six months out, or you can change it. A lot of people have asked, hey, I have a budget, or hey, I work with customers that may only want a certain amount of money or whatever per week, per day. You can set an end date. That way it manually shuts off or doesn't make, automatically, I should say, shuts off at a certain date. And you can go in and choose the leads per day, which I'll get to. That's not in the setup here. You can have phone numbers, home address, email address. The require email address is our is our focus. John has hit that probably a hundred times. Our focus is not phone numbers. We will be adding verified cell phone numbers and things as an uptick in pricing and some LinkedIn integration and some things for B2B stuff. It's just not our focus currently. We're getting there in the future, but you can do the phone number as beta testers, as people that John brought on today. Um, that's kind of icing on the cake. I will say that our system though, if you enable the phone number, it's going to go out and try to find those people because you clicked phone number. You might skip over a lead because you enabled phone number and home address. If you didn't need those two points of data, just do email address for now because we know that our phone numbers are not as accurate because you might've skipped over folks that we could have sent you that had a first name, last name, and an email would have been good for your email marketing campaign. But because we went out and tried to phone a phone number, it skipped over it and now we're not able to get that information. There is in cases though, that there is no phone number available and we will send you a lead to where it says enable phone number, not require phone number. We require email addresses. John, can you speak to that as far as the verification of emails just really quickly, or you can do that in training too? Yeah, yeah, no, I can, I can hit that. We'll do it in training as well. But as far as these, these emails have all opted in at some point online, so they have they have agreed to receive marketing materials via email. So you're totally safe emailing them. The other thing is we also scrub the lists. And what that means is we check it to make sure it's not going to bounce. We make sure it's a valid email address. And we also scrub it against a lot of the, uh, the main databases out there for spam traps. So you're not going to be sending into a into a black hole or a spam trap or anything like that. So the emails have a very, very high deliverability rate. 
Yep. And the lead re-identification re time limit. So again, we built a system for the one-off business owner to the agency that has hundreds of, of clients. Some clients, some people want to know if somebody was identified with the exact same information, the exact same zip code, exact same keyword a month later. And they're willing to repay for that lead coming back into the system. It defaults to never. Most people want to just say, hey, I want to pay for the lead once. They're in my database. I'll retarget them as I want. But some people are willing to pay that pay for that information if it's a week, month, three months, all the way to a year. So once that's done, you would go out and hit save. For the sake of information, I'm going to hit cancel. Whenever I save this, those automated emails that you saw, one of those was when a campaign was created. It's going to automatically send a Google Sheets link to those folks that are in this box right here. Again, it's not comma separated now. It's stack form. It will be comma separated in the future, every, like everything else is here. We're going to change that. But this recent Google Sheet link is if somebody, one of your customers said, hey, for whatever reason, it's buried in my email. I don't have my link. You can come back in manually and resend them the link to that. Okay. This email right here will have to be a Gmail approved. Once you do that again, I'm going to hit cancel. So we're not saving this one because I already have one set up. We're going to go in and you're going to see the, the one that we set up just now. Okay. This play button is a manual feature. You must manually hit play either you as an agency for your customer or your customer slash clients, whatever term you want to give it in our system, it's client. They have to manually hit play for search AI. It can take up to 24 hours. I'm a visual guy. I've always said it like this. It's kind of like we're lining up a bunch of cannons to go in whatever direction we need to based on the geo target, the keywords, to go find that information for you across the World Wide Web. It takes a little bit to get all those set up, especially when you got a lot of keywords and things. So it can take up to 24 hours for that campaign to run. Best case scenario, it's in the a couple hours, four to six, but it can take up to 24. At any time, you can pause a campaign. Your client, this is the dashboard that they will see when you give them that ability to add campaigns. They will not have this feature because they're a client facing. They can't add clients of their own. This is not a multi-level structure, but they can add their own campaigns in their dashboard. They can actually stop their campaign. The difference between pause and stop, there's only one thing. There is an invoice that will be sent out instantly automated from your agency to that client for that specific campaign if either you or your client had stopped. This money sign for you as an agency is a little bit different. In fact, it's a lot different than if you're a client and see the client facing dashboard, which you'll see. You have the ability per campaign, again, default pricing on the general settings, like we said, those are defaulted per all of your customers at once. In the future, we will have that per client not per all of your clients. Right now it's per all of your clients, but in campaigns, you have the ability to go in and change the setup fee per campaign, campaign fee, maintenance fee, whatever you want to call it per week. You can go in and change the cost per lead. Your wholesale cost is $1.99. You want to double the price and make it $3.99 and you want 100 leads a day or you want 10 leads a day. It's automatically going to tell you what your profit down here, pretty cool little calculator if you're bad at math like me, um, it's down here and show what you're going to make per campaign in a weekly basis. Once that's good, you hit set up. I would Mom. highly recommend not leaving that at zero either. Because yes. That's what I did. And I had like almost 700 <laughs> leads overnight. <laughs> so, and then John, I actually, the one that I have on the client facing is that campaign. So we'll go look at that. Um, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, that's fine. Zero means unlimited. You're telling the system, I want as many leads that you can possibly give me based around these keywords. <laughs> so if you put auto insurance or just insurance as a one word keyword, I promise you, especially if it's a national campaign, you will have thousands of leads the next day. So that is client facing this here. Your clients um, will not see but this is an opt-out database. This is where you as an agency will need to control if there's an unsubscriber, as well as if your client has existing customers in their database that they do not want to pay information for. So this is a tool you can actually click on and drag and drop just email addresses into this, you know, a little sample file, all that kind of stuff here. So that is how to set up 
a client or a campaign, I'm sorry, in search. That was search campaign. We're going to go here. I'm going to hit this edit button to go back. And then I'm going to hit campaign management because we're under site. So this is the website traffic, those campaigns. We have a demo one set up. Again, Google Sheets. You have the same concept here with the weekly billing. Start, pause, play. And then this is the other, basically the only difference with this campaign is we give you the snippet of code that you want to copy and paste directly into the header of the web page that this site is for. Do not use a bunch of plugins, you know, all those things that will break the code. Directly copy and paste right from here into the header. John, if you have anything to say about that, go ahead. If not, I'll move on. Yeah, that most webmasters are going to know what to do with that. If they don't, then uh, we, we can help them help them get through that. I'll actually make a video on how to do that in WordPress as well. Okay, that'd be great with with uh, I guess people like myself that sometimes aren't as techy that that helps. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, same thing. You guys see that? You guys uh, will not have um, you'll have access to this archive button as an agency. That's basically just an archive. So we as um, the white label uh, or back end can do any kind of tests. Maybe there was a snafu and you wanted to delete a campaign. We want to make sure it was nothing on our end, all that kind of stuff. Um, but that's pretty much it. Again, you can go in and actually configure um, the Google Sheets. Since I didn't add the Twilio integration for this specific client, it doesn't show up here. But once I do, it actually will show up here that I can add that integration in and voila. Okay. You hit save. All right. I think that is adding a client, adding a campaign. Um, John, did I leave anything out that you see on the agency and white label agency facing dashboard? No, I think uh, I think that was awesome. Cool. I, the only thing somebody was asking if they could see the Google Sheet. Can you click on the on the? Yeah, Google let me uh, let me go to this client facing, um, and this is your campaign, John, that we did. Um, okay. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to switch in. This is basically if somebody said, I think one of somebody in the chat, I answered it for him. John, I answered a lot for you. So we didn't take three hours for that, but yeah. um, <laughs> somebody asked, can I have my own business as a client of my agency? If I'm a corporate jet. And the answer is yes, as well as full airliner, you have the ability to go in and actually add your own on your own business as a client. Um, now, I would say you can use the same credit card, just do not use the same email. It has to be a unique email for our system to not just snafu on us. Um, but this is going in and this is actually John's ID test, John's Internet Dominators test. This is a live test that we did for search. We did not do a live site search here, but you get the idea from the customer or from the agency facing dashboard. You saw what site AI looks like. I'm going to show you what a client facing dashboard looks like. Through search AI, you see this little dot here. That means I'm on the search AI and the dashboard and the campaign management for this customer, which is I'm, I'm John's ID, I'm a customer. This is a customer client facing dashboard. You'll see that there is not hardly anything that they can do other than add campaigns and they don't have an ad client. They do not have a drop down list of their own clients because again, this is not multi-level. This is in a single level, this is your client that this person has access to through the account that they created through your business. So I'm going to go to campaign management. It's going to bring me up to this one that we actually did back in June. Really quickly though, I can pause it. I can play. I can hit stop. I can do my opt out all as a client of say internet dominators. If internet dominators was the agency, John's internet dominator test is an internal client. I can manually do anything that an agency that I'm working with can do. Here's the difference. The campaign financials, I only see how many leads do you want per day for this specific client. If I go in and add 10, it only is going to send me 10 per day. When the media that it gets 10 leads in your system and your Google Sheets, it shuts off, it turns back on the next day. And it manually or it automatically turns on. You don't have to manually hit it every day. Once you hit play, it continues day after day, 24-7, 365, unless you pause it or stop it. If you need to edit a campaign, you just pause it, go in and edit it, hit play again, no big deal. You can actually um, 
sometimes you can you can actually edit on the fly. But let's go in, John, and let's see what you actually did on a live test. Everybody wants to say, well, these 800 and some leads, are they really true? What, what's going on? So John picked a national target. Those of you in SEO, free picks for keywords. But he put in close to 20 some 30 keywords. He copied and pasted all of the keywords directly into the contextual. So even if somebody was reading about rank SEO or they put in a search bar rank SEO, he's going to find them. If they show up in a Google Sheets, and I say this because you will not see this in the Google Sheet that I will reveal to you. If they show up as a contextual, which means these down here in this box, they will have an exclamation in front of them letting you know that they are contextual. Contextual is not worse leads. It's just a different type of lead. We want to make sure we distinguish that if it's a contextual lead. So we put in to test the system, phone number, home address, email address. We wanted to push it, see what it, we'll see what it's made of. And uh, we hit save. I'm going to hit cancel for the sake. I go to Google Sheets. Oh, I'm not. This is an incognito. All right, I'm going to stop sharing just for a sec. I knew I couldn't go the whole time without messing <laughs> up. <things>, right. <laughs> and by the way, that was a bad idea for me to set that campaign up with unlimited. Because like I said, I woke up and there was just, I was like blown away how many leads were in there. And I was not prepared to like follow up with them. So <laughs> it was... I was, uh, I really shot myself in the foot with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John went to sleep, and I'll show you here in real two seconds. I got a few people that are probably cussing me, John, because I was supposed to be on a meeting. <laughs> well, I did hear from Gwen. She said, no problem. She is enthralled with the presentation. So she said, you just go right on ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, why it's not sending me this email address for the two-step. Do you have, uh, actually, give me two seconds. I can go into my other window and do this. Give me a sec. Ah, there we go. I'm going to finish with this. Here we go. Come on, baby. There we go. All right, let's share this again. So once you go to bed and rest your head on your pillow and wake up and you had zero, you want to test the system, you will, starting at 725 in the evening, wake up the next day and you will have hundreds of leads or at nine o'clock or at 10 o'clock or at 12 o'clock, three o'clock, 437. I want to do this real quick because it's not showing. Everybody's like, we can't see the keywords. Got it. All right. Let's scroll back up real quick. This column will show you what keywords they were searching for right here. I think in a matter of like 12 hours of the 30 keywords that John put in the system, I want to say there was like 10 to 15 that actually produced. Now, if we'd have turned it on and kept it on for the next 30 days, maybe all 30 of them would have produced and maybe not. Uh, a lot of people have asked like, hey, what exactly, which keywords are already tested and, you know, ready to go? <laughs> there's so many keywords. There's billions of keywords out there. We, we don't have enough time to test all of them. So that's it, John. Um, I can go back here to that while you're wrapping up. But this is uh, this is it. No, well, that's awesome. Is, I, uh, think, uh, I think you did a phenomenal job there. <laughs> if that's the client facing. So you don't have any access to anything except for your site campaigns and your search campaigns. And you have access to the dashboard unless your agency disables it. So you as an agency, as a corporate or four airliner have the ability, if you have someone you're like, eh, I don't know if I want this guy having access to his campaigns and messing something up, <laughs> you might want to hit that button on that client and disable it. So you have full reign on that. Again, Lots and lots and lots. I'm on the on the, the calls with development team every single day. And um, they have a lot up their sleeve and, and ready to implement. But we had to get this out. And we're excited about getting it out the door. That way we can get all the feedback that we want. The good, the bad, the ugly. What do you need? How can we make it better? Um, so that's it.
All right. Well, thank you, Brady, for the walkthrough. And uh, thank you, no everybody, for being on here on a Friday for two hours. I can't believe we've uh, we've held almost the whole group for the whole time. This is uh, <clears throat> this is probably one of the one of the most sticky webinars that I've ever done as far as the content, holding people's attention. The interaction has been amazing. There's been almost 200 Q&A questions come through. And uh, I don't know if you've seen Brady, but the sales are piling through like one right after another. They just keep coming through. So this is awesome. I knew, I knew this was going to be hot. I mean, as soon as I saw this and, and, played with the tech and all that i knew this was going to be this was going to be the next thing so thank you guys again for being on here if we didn't get to all of your questions i apologize but i think we got we hit the mo the majority of them i think we got uh, i think we did pretty well john since my uh chat is disabled if you want i have no problem um if you want to put my email in the chat and anybody that has any questions that didn't i'm probably going to regret this but that's okay. <laughs> if it's a right. legit good question, I have no problem answering it through email. If you want to put mine in the chat um, or Breeze, but um, it's up to up to her if she wants hers in the chat. So, all right, let's see here. I will do that. Yeah, you can put mine if you'd like. Also, right. I know Brady's pretty busy. And then you can put my affiliate link back in there, John. Yeah, and mine also. <laughs> All right, John, I'm going to hop off and do some um, Appreciate the time. Thank all right. Forward. Thank you. Thank you again, Brady and Bree, for being on here. I'm going to just paste these links in here one last time, and uh, and we'll call it a day. All right, so there is that. I'm going to get the recording out. I'll send the recording out along with the, the links again. And... Uh, Thank you guys all for being on here. Here's one more time for the links. That's the, the links to purchase if you didn't see it. And we look forward to working with y'all and uh, generating some phenomenal business in 2024. This is going to be a game changer for all of you guys that jumped in on it and the ones that are going to jump in on it this weekend. Uh, we really look forward to 2024 being a spectacular year and putting this using acquisition air to put the, the wind under our wings. So thank you all for being on here and uh, have a great, happy Black Friday. <laughs>